Today we're going to be working with the circle of flowers number two. I want to show you a few techniques that I used while digitizing this design and also preparing the artwork so that it is ready for digitizing. This is what your new blank design will look like. First thing we need to do is insert our artwork. Normally we wouldn't have the colors laying around like this, but wanted you to be able to see them on the video. So they took the colors they had selected, laid them around, and then also wrote the numbers onto the paper. I do generally select my colors first, and then I will do a printout of my image, and I do write the color numbers that I want to use pretty close to what you see here. A lot of times when I was beginning to digitize, I would even write the stitch type or the digitizing tool that I thought I wanted to use. It just helps you, particularly when you're just beginning, to organize yourself before you start the digitizing process. So the first thing we want to do is to assign the colors that we have selected. We want to open up My Threads Docker. I've already set the Meddler Poly Sheen as the brand of thread that I want to use. And now I need to assign the colors at the bottom. If you will remember in one of our Getting Started videos, I was talking to you about the design palette and how all your colors that you want to use have to be assigned down here. The colors in my thread is like your color box or your drawer. You must take those colors out before you can use them. So we must take our colors and put them down in the design palette so that they've been assigned a color block so that we can use them. We also need to make sure that we're paying close attention to this block of color chip on the left hand side because that is your assigned color. The first color I'm going to assign is 3522. So I'm going to make sure that my number one is selected. I know it is because I see it in the left corner. I already know the color number, so I'm going to type in 3522. You can double click on it and notice that it's assigned that color. Then you can go in and you can click on the pick tool, double click on number two, 2810. Double click. Double click on number three, 1814. Double click. Double click on number four to make it active. And color number 5005. Double click on it and it will assign it. You will do that with all of your colors.